Hi, welcome to today's video devotional. I'm Pastor Don. So for the next couple weeks, we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take the scripture that we were going to use for next week's sermon, and we're going to divide it amongst this week's video devotional, the sermon, and next week's video devotional. That way, this Sunday, we can focus on the Lord's Prayer in totality without having to worry about other things around it. So today we're going to look at prayer as a religious kind of righteousness. So let's look at our scripture for today, and that's Matthew 6, 5 through 6. When you pray, you are not to be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and on the street corners, so that they may be seen by men. Truly I say to you, they have their reward in full, but you, when you pray, Go into your inner room, close your door, and pray to your Father who is in secret. And your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. This comes right after we talk about giving to the needy and not letting your left hand know what your right hand is doing. Jesus is not attacking this concept of praying out loud or praying standing up. He's really um, addressing the issue of heart. In fact, in Luke 18, verses 10 through 14, he says this, Two men went into the temple to pray, one a Pharisee and the other a tax collector. The Pharisee stood and was praying this to himself, God, I thank you that I am not like other people, swindlers, unjust, adulterers, or even like this tax collector. I fast twice a week. I pay tithes of all that I get. But the tax collector, standing some distance away, was even unwilling to lift his eyes to heaven, but was beating his breast, saying, God, be merciful to me, the sinner. I tell you, this man went to his house justified rather than the other, for everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, but he who humbles himself will be exalted. You see, Jesus wasn't dealing with the problem of praying. It was the problem of motivation for prayer. Once again, the hypocrites loved to stand and pray, not to be seen by God, but to be seen by men. Standing to pray was a common position for prayer of the Israelite people. And praying in synagogues is meant to happen. Even praying on street corners to bring the religion, to bring the religious aspects into the world was all seen as good. But praying to be seen by men, and that being the motivation, that's the problem. We have to ask ourselves right now, when we pray, do we pray to be seen and heard by God, or do we pray to be seen and heard by those around us? Maybe if they hear us praying, we can seem more righteous than we truly are. If that's the case, then we're already receiving the reward we deserve when we get the applause from those around us. But if we want our reward to come from God, then our prayers should be to God. So if you have a problem with wanting to be seen by others, then by all means, what you need to do is go into your room and pray alone so that your focus will be truly on who deserves your focus. Pray to God in heaven. That's where our reward should come from not from those around us. Where's your heart when you pray? That's the question for today. Thank you, God bless, and I will see you soon.